Hi everyone, Jeff the Rose Dude here, and in this video we'll be going over a quick tour of my greenhouses and my test rose garden for all of my rose seedlings. I've had a lot of people ask me uh, what my setup is, so I figured that I'd kind of take you through and, and tell you my thoughts on all of it. And at the very end of the video, I'm going to give you a couple of uh, tips um, on growing roses from seed. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. So here is my first greenhouse. It's a little bit smaller, but I call it my propagation greenhouse. Uh, don't mind the mess. Um, but as we go in here, this is the greenhouse that I grow all of my seeds in, uh, start them off. And as you can see, I have fans running there. I have grow lights and I also have right now a heater because it's still a little bit cold. Um, but I also do have an air conditioner for the summer to keep it cool in there. So, yep, and then after the seedlings are potted up, they go into the other greenhouse, and then this becomes um, the greenhouse for me to take all of my cuttings. And this is my second greenhouse, or will be my second greenhouse, just uh, finishing up building it uh, here for this year. But as we go in, um, it's quite a bit larger, but I am going to have shelves along the walls here to put my seedlings that I have potted up into four inch and uh, one gallon pot, pots, and they'll be in here so that I, they can continue to grow. And I will keep them in here during their very first winter to give them a little bit more protection, um, but it will not be heated in the winter, but um, they'll be protected a little bit, you know, from from the wind and from the really uh, harsh, uh, cold temperatures. And this is my test garden. After the first winter from the greenhouse, then the roses get planted in here um, for further observation, but it's really important that they um, go through normal garden conditions and they're exposed to the outside uh, weather. Um, they receive minimal care. I don't do any spraying of any insecticides or any um, fungicides because I want to see how resistant um, all of these roses are. And I'll be monitoring the, the flowers when they do bloom and and um, I'll keep the ones that look promising and then unfortunately the others are will get cold or thrown out unfortunately but that's uh, the thing with breeding so you only want to have the best of the best but yeah there's the test garden and that's pretty much the setup. Now remember that I do consider myself a backyard hybridizer and you absolutely can too without needing uh, any greenhouses or a designated area in your yard for a test garden. I just have gone extreme and this year I have about 500 seedlings so far. So I do need to have the extra space uh, for that, but you absolutely can grow seeds indoors, um, either by a window or in a basement. You might need uh, grow lights for extra supplemental lighting. And then when they get old enough, then you can harden them off and move them outdoors. Um, it's a really fun process and I encourage you to really give it a try because it is so much fun just knowing that not knowing what you're going to get is just incredible and seeing the flowers bloom for the very first time is the best feeling in the world um, but make sure that you subscribe um, as I am going to be trying to put out weekly videos on growing roses from seed um, actually cross pollinating and hybridizing roses um, and general rose care, garden care, companion plants. So a lot of exciting things coming up. Um, so keep an eye out on that. And if you have any comments, leave them down below and I will answer them as soon as I can. Have fun with your roses.